Hello friends, in the last video we learned about PHP forms. We created a login form and we handled the response on our servers. In this video we are going to learn about file uploading. So uh, there are certain scenarios in web development where you need uh, the user to upload some sort of file. Uh, you can take the case of a uh, profile pic upload or you can take the case of YouTube where the user has to upload a video. In these sort of scenarios uh, the user uploads a file using a form. So that is what we are going to do in this video. Let's start. So we are back in Sublime Text. For this particular video, we are going to create two files. The first file would be a HTML file, which will contain the form to upload a file. The second one would be a file that will handle that response and actually do the uploading part. Okay. Uh, one more thing guys, uh, in this video, uh, the file that we are going to upload should be either JPG or PNG. And it should not be bigger than uh, 512 M MBs, 512 of MBs. Okay, so let's create the first file that is the HTML file. Let's save it as file underscore form dot PHP. As I said, we are going to save every file as a PHP file like this. We are going to create a head element with a title tag. The title would be file upload demo. Then we'll have our body tag, which will have one h3, which will again say file upload demo. And now just below this, we'll have our form. The form will have just one element, one input field, uh, in fact two input field. The first one would be of type file. Just make sure whenever you are creating a form to upload something, you have to give the type as file. Then you are going to give a name of say image. This is what we are going to use in order to receive this data on the server. Uh, and we will just put a br. We can also add a label. select file now let's add a br and then one more input tag with the type of submit and value of upload yeah <clears throat> let's save it let's go to the browser and we are going to hit the URL localhost php demo file form dot php so this is the form as you can see it looks a bit different from the previous HTML forms but once you click on this you can now select any file that you want not folders just files okay great now let's go back and do a few things the first one is to add an action remember action was the attribute which used to tell us which file on the server is going to handle the response so in this case file underscore upload dot php would be the file we haven't created it but we'll create it the method again would be post and there is one more thing that you have to give over here and that is enc type is equal to multipart slash form data uh, you have to put this thing every time you're going to create any form which is using file uploading okay so what it tells the browser is that uh, you can divide the file into multiple chunks and then send it to the server okay so once we are done with this now we can go to our folder and create a new file before that we can save this <coughs> and we can save the second file as file upload.php the same file that we have written over here 
Now over here, we have to write the code uh, to upload the file. So uh, before uploading the file, let's first see that if the file is coming to the server or not. This can be tested by this particular thing. Suppose I want to find out the name of the file that the user has uploaded. So I can done that. I can do that using this dollar underscore files. The name of the file that was sent from there that is image and I want to find out the name dollar underscore files work similar like dollar underscore post okay so I in the first part of this we have specified the file that is coming from the user and we want to check the name attribute of it okay let's save it let's reload choose file go to the desktop suppose I want to upload this PNG file okay so the name of the file is godaddy.png so once I click on upload it should display godaddy.png let's do that okay so there is some error uh, yeah obviously uh, there are two errors first we haven't put a uh, semicolon second we haven't echoed it out so it should be this let's save it let's reload and you can see now the server's response is godaddy.png in fact we can do one more thing we can check the size of the file dollar size is equal to dollar underscore files image again and this time we are going to write size okay and instead of printing out the name let's print out the size let's save it reload and now you can see this is the size in bytes okay not kilobytes not megabytes it's in bytes okay so now we are sure that the user has uploaded a file and that is uh, correctly arrived on the server now what you have to do is uh, you have to put it in the right place so before doing that uh, just make sure in your project via folder you always have one upload folder and all your uploaded file should go to that folder so we are creating a new folder and we are naming it as uploads okay now we want the file that is being uh, uploaded by the user should go into this uploads folder okay so just before doing this we are doing one more thing that is dollar we are creating a new variable called dollar temp name is equal to dollar underscore files again the image file this time we are using an attribute called temp name okay so what is this temp name so uh, this is a concept uh, so this is basically how file uploads work in PHP so what happens is uh, when you upload the file on the server uh, first the file is being uh, transferred to a local storage okay over there it has a different name from what it actually has so suppose I want to find out what is that local name so I'll just print out dollar temp name save it reload continue and you can see it's stored on the server by this name with a dot tmp which stands for temporary extension okay so to upload a file on PHP in using PHP you use a simple function called move uploaded file this function requires two argument the first one of them is the file name the temporary file name which you have just uh, derived which is dollar temp name and you have to provide the final destination where the file will be located eventually after upload so this destination is basically the complete path name including the file name the original file name so it would be the location that is uploads slash the original file name which is stored in the variable name okay so if this particular function works properly if it returns one we'll display echo file uploaded else will print out echo some error occurred okay let's save this let's go back reload 
choose file we are selecting this godaddy.png upload it says file uploaded now we can go to the uh, folder see this is our php demo folder these are the files and now inside uploads we can see the godaddy file okay so this is how you upload a file in php now we are going to do one more check that we are going to upload only those files which are either jpg or png okay so what we will do is we'll extract the file extension from this dollar name okay so how we'll do that is first of all we'll find out the position of the dot the dot in the file name so what we can do is dollar position is equal to string strpos string position uh, dollar name and the position of dot okay and now what we will do is I'll uh, create a new variable called extension which will be equal to substring of dollar name and it will start from dollar position plus one and now I'll just echo out dollar external extension I'm just commenting this whole thing out so that file upload doesn't take place save reload let's choose a file suppose we are selecting this PDF file okay so effectively on upload it should print the extension of the file okay yeah so we are getting PDF similarly if I go and I select uh, suppose this logo file okay so again it should print PNG okay now what we will do is we'll create one array called allowed extension and it would be an array which will just contain two elements PNG and JPG and now what we can do is instead of printing this out we can check if dollar e xt in fact what we can use the in array function in array the needle is dollar e xt and the haystack would be our array allowed extension if the extension of the current file exists in the array then only we are going to do these things let's handle the indentation if the extension is something else we'll print out incorrect extension okay so now let's save this file let's go back and let's select a file which is not allowed suppose this PDF file let's upload and it says incorrect extension but if I go back and if I choose a file like this godaddy.png and if I upload it says file upload okay now one last thing is left that is <clears throat> I want to check whether the size of the file is less than 512 MBs or KBs or not okay so what I'll do is I'll just create an and statement and I'll just do this dollar size is less than equal to 512 multiplied by 1024 okay so this will be the uh, number in bytes so if both the condition satisfies that is the extension of the file is either jpg or png and the file size is less than 512 kb then only you have to do this stuff otherwise you have to just print out incorrect rather than extension we can use incorrect file okay so this is how you upload 
and sometimes create filters on uploaded files.